Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Android 4.4 on your Nexus S. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to have done to install this ROM is make sure you're running the latest Clockwork Mod Recovery, which is version uh, 6.0.4.3, I believe, as of this uh, video. You're going to want to hit the two download links down in the description. One is the ROM, and then the other is the G apps. Uh, and then just note that this is an alpha build, so the things that are working uh, are the calls, 3G data, SMS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, light, gravity, uh, sensors, camera, SD card, NFC, BLN and CRT off as well as super user. So there's quite a bit that is actually running. Uh, but just mind you that uh, just note that this is an alpha build. So not everything is going to, to work just how you want it. But you guys can go ahead and try it out if you'd like. This is for the Nexus S GSM version, by the way. OK, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what you're going to want to do is open up uh, your ROM manager. Let's see ROM manager here. And you're, of course, going to want to have everything downloaded. Uh, you're going to reboot into recovery, uh, hit OK. We'll let that uh, do its thing and we'll be right back. OK, so once it's rebooted into recovery, uh, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and wipe the cache partition. Uh, now, I always usually say I'm not sure if you really need to do this, if you're going to do a factory reset, uh, but I do it anyway just because I'm a little paranoid about it, I guess. Um, and then wipe the Dalvik cache, as you saw right there. Uh, let's bring that up a little bit. And then you're going to go ahead and wipe data factor reset. Now make sure you have a backup of your previous ROM. Uh, if you don't have a backup and something goes wrong, it can be sort of a pain to try to get everything back uh, if you can or just even get your phone working again. So make sure you make a backup. Uh, after you went ahead and did the factory reset, the cache and all that, you're going to want to go to install zip. You're going to choose zip from SD card. Uh, hopefully you went ahead and download it straight to your device. That way you can follow the instructions just as I show. But then you're going to go to download. And you'll see AOSP 4.4.2013.1107 Crespo Alpha.zip. You're going to want to click that and just hit yes and install. And we'll let that do its thing and we'll be right back. Okay, so the install from SD card is complete. So now what you're going to want to do is go back. And again, I'm not exactly sure if you have to wipe the cache since there's nothing that's, I don't think that has been written to it. But uh, just in my, for me, I like to go back and wipe the Davit cache and wipe the, uh, the cache partition. And then go back to install zip. Choose zip again, go to download, and we'll go ahead and install the gapps uh, kk 2013 1031.zip. Hit yes, install, and we'll be right back once that's done. Okay, so now the gapps are done. And by the way, you can only flash the 4.4 gapps. If you try to flash 4.3, uh, it will not work. So anyway, you're going to go back and then just reboot system now. And you will not have, I don't believe you'll have the uh, Android, um, the new boot animation, the new Nexus boot animation. Um, you'll just have the Android glowing letters, but we'll go ahead and see here in a second. So yeah, you'll just have the Android uh, little letters, but if you want to go ahead and get the new boot animation, I will leave a link to a video that I have uh, detailing how to install that. You will be uh, need to be rooted for that uh, as you're, well, I believe you need to be rooted, but you're going to go ahead and check out that link if you want to get that new uh, boot animation. So I'll let this run by and then we'll be right back. Okay, so now that everything is uh, done, you're going to go ahead and just push the little play button to get started. Whoops, not emergency call. <laughs> Let's go back out of that. Uh, hit the play, and as you can see, you now have the white clicks um, and the white status up there. Uh, not sure if you have the transparent notification bar, but we'll go ahead and check, out, check that out. Uh, I don't need to set up Wi-Fi right now. That's okay. Um, sure. That's fine. So I'm just basically showing you how it's going to look so that you guys at least know. Uh, and you will be brought to this screen. Uh, so it doesn't have the new launcher installed by default, as you see here. Uh, it has the uh, older launcher. And you do need to go ahead and probably install some of your... Uh, you do have the Play Store, but you need to probably go ahead and install some, some uh, of the other Google apps that uh, you can have, like YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the version number just to show you. Uh, Android 4.4, there it is. And mind you, I came from Signage and Mod. You have Super User installed. Uh, I did have some errors with that Super User, so you might need to go ahead and install another Super User if you'd like from the Play Store. Uh, but we'll go ahead and check out uh, the wallpapers. It doesn't come with any of the new wallpapers, like I said, because you do need to install the launcher. So if you want to get that, I'll leave another link down below, uh, a video for that, how to get the new launcher. 
and get the uh, transparent uh, notification bar up here. But anyway, that's how to get Android 4.4 on your Nexus 4. Now I do wanna uh, just make a quick note that there are some things uh, that, are, that are not working that are actually noted. Uh, web view is mostly broken. So that means if you wanna go ahead and use the browser to browse around, uh, it's gonna kind of give you a black bar or boxes somewhat uh, around some web pages. But I noticed if you installed Chrome and you use that instead of the browser, uh, I didn't have any problems. So just a tip there. Uh, and some G apps aren't working and uh, native apps to SD is also broken. Uh, but there is a fix on the website if you want to go ahead and test that out. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe down there for more. Uh, also, stay tuned uh, for the next video because I should be having some pretty cool stuff coming up. And be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Google Plus for anything special I might be doing there. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.